Hey guys, so I'm here with another empties. Um, I was recently watching Lisa from Blushing Shades of Beauty's empties video and she was saying how she might skip doing empties for a while because she feels like she's always repeating, repeating the same things and I was like, I feel that way too. So I actually just um, took out a bunch of things that I like talk about every single time or if there was more than one of something I took it out so yeah because I don't want to have like way too many things because I can't really talk about them because um, I do want to kind of give you mini reviews because that's kind of the whole point so it's like you know would I repurchase it you know and whatnot so anyways I better hurry up because Jocelyn is probably gonna wake up soon and I am starving and it's hot in here so <laughs> yeah but I wanted to get this filmed because I would really like to put these out with the recycle tomorrow on trash day so um yeah so first of all um, my husband used up the Old Spice Fiji body wash I talked about this before um I don't think I actually used any from this bottle but I have used it before when I ran out of body wash and it's not like super overly manly smelling but it smells good on a guy so yeah if that makes sense so I do like that and obviously like when he uses it um and then the chi magnified volume shampoo absolutely love this this is what i was trying to think of the name of it in my ulta haul when i mentioned i got the kenra shampoo um but yeah i would definitely repurchase it the only reason i didn't is because chi was not included in the last ulta leader sale so yeah but I do absolutely love this. It lathers nicely, even though it's sulfate free. Love it. So, yeah, and it smells good. And then the Tree Hut Shea Body Butter. I did repurchase this. Only thing is, but something about the texture of it, I feel like I kind of need more of it. And I go through this like crazy fast. Like I'm almost done with another one of these. So, yeah. But it is really cheap too. So it's kind of like. I guess it evens out but anyway yeah but it does smell very much like Shea so yeah but again to repurchase it it is pretty moisturizing maybe not like the most intense moisturizing ever but it's not bad um and then I have the uh Tree Hut Almond and Honey Shea Butter um I don't I probably would not repurchase this one I'm not sure. I think I might have gotten kind of tired of the scent. Yeah, it's kind of strong. It's like very strong almond and honey. Um, yeah, that's the only thing is like if you get these tree hut ones, you have to really make sure you like the scent um, because they are quite strong. So yeah, I probably just stick to the original Shea. And then I have another body butter. I've been using it like crazy. In the summer, I use even more body butter actually because I want to make sure my self tan doesn't get patchy because it does really easily. Um, but lately I've only been self tanning once a week. So by now I'm pretty white again. But you know. Um, but this is the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. Um, I did really like this. I like the handy flip top so you don't have to screw off the top. But I do like this. Um, I can't use this. I can't use coconut like over and over again but using like one tub of this I don't really get sick of it um but I do like this I know it's really cheap at Trader Joe's we don't have one close by though my mom brought it when she came up in June so yeah I do like that like I said and I've mentioned this before the Caress Daily Silk White Peach and Silky Orange Blossom but I thought I'd mention again because I do really like it and the scent is nice and light. I don't get sick of it for once. And I've used like several of these in a row. So yeah, I get this peach and orange and I get this at Sam's Club in a three pack. And then this is not quite gone, but I just wanted to toss it. It's the Herbal Essences Long-Term Relationship Conditioner for Long Hair. Um, I got this after Love Melissa Michelle was talking about it. She like used it like over and over and over again. She does have long hair. Obviously I don't. Um, but I did buy this when my hair was longer. But it's just not as thick 
that I like. I like a super thick conditioner. Um, and well, herbal essences smell good. Again, I kind of get sick of the scent. So yeah, I didn't use it like every day. I would kind of alternate if I could, but yeah, not my favorite because I like something thicker and not quite as strong smelling. And then the tea tree, the body shop tea tree skin clearing facial wash. Um, this worked okay, but I just smell of this again. I know it was tea tree, so I was gonna smell strong, but um. It just, it just gets to me like in the morning if I, if I used it. Not something that I really want to use to wake up. <laughs> but, and then I could, definitely couldn't have handled the scent probably when I was pregnant because it would have been too much. So, yeah. I would probably not repurchase that. So, unless it was like in the kit again. Because that's how I got this one. Um, I got their tea tree set because it was a much better price. And then another body butter, what do you know? The Body Shop Vitamin E. Um, I am using another one of these right now that I'm alternating with the Tree Hut Shea one. Um, so I did like this. The scent isn't too much or anything. So yeah, I did really like that one. And then the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. Um, I got this on sale, but I usually like to get their Rite Aid version because um, the bottle's a little bigger and it's cheaper. So, yeah, but I did like that. And then Dr. Bronner's All in One Peppermint Pure Cast Oil Bar Soap. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's because. My beauty blender is newer, but I almost feel like this peppermint one cleans better than the lavender one did. But I'm not really sure. Um, I prefer the lavender scent, but this is just what um, the Trader Joe's had, and because I, I asked my mom to pick some up, because I know it's cheaper there than it is at Meyer, so she picked me up two bars, and I'm on my second one, I think. No, I don't. I don't remember. But anyway. I always use that to wash my beauty blenders. And then I used up the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap for oily skin. I did just finally get a new one. Because um, for a while I was just using what I had on hand, which is like a glycolic cleanser by Neutrogena. But my skin was getting a little too dried out. And it's been my skin's been behaving a little better since I went back to just using a basic... Well, using this again. Um, so I use this at night, and lately I've just not been using face wash at all in the morning. Um, so my skin doesn't get too dried out, but then I do use like a toner and stuff. So yeah, I do really like this though, and I get it at my CCO, or cosmetics company outlet, if you don't know what that is. Um, the Mario Benescu Special Cleansing Lotion C, I do really like this toner. And I meant to get one when I redeemed my Ulta points and used the 20% off coupon because the regular coupons they have all the time don't apply to this because um, even though it's not super expensive it is on the higher end side of Ulta so yeah I forgot to get it which was a bummer but right now my skin is doing okay with using the tea tree toner by the body Watt, the body shop <laughs> yeah Oh, that's how much stuff I had in here. Um, Miracle Skin Transformer. I did really like this, but I only had a teeny bit left and it's now expired. Um, yeah, so that had to go. And I didn't have the money right now to get a new one. But I probably would. I did like it, so that was a really good primer. It's moisturizing and evens out your skin tone a little bit. And then I have the Eva NYC Clean It Up Shampoo. Did not like this. Way too runny and it didn't like foam up at all. I feel like it would just run off my head instantly. Um, yeah. I didn't like it. So there's still a little bit in here because <laughs> I didn't use it all up. But yeah. 
And then the Gillette Venus Embrace five blade razor blades. I decided to show you this because I occasionally use up razor blades. <laughs> um, I use them like way longer than I should because let's face it, razors are one of the things that I hate to spend money on. It's like makeup or slightly smoother legs. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, so I had this like way too long. And I just put in the last one because my other one like broke. But yeah, Venus, Gillette Venus has always been my favorite. It's what I've used since I was like 12. So, um, yeah, I like them. And I do have to shave every single day or I'll have like horrible stubble. So yeah, nothing more, but what you gotta do. And the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher. This is another thing I would like to get a new one, I think. Um, it did work really well with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation, I think. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of old and every time I squeeze it out now, it'd be like a little bit separated and gross. Because um, I have had this a long time. But there was just a teeny bit left anyway, so yeah. but. That was a good kind of pore filling primer. And I think I did do a review on that. And then the It Cosmetics by Bye, Bye Redness. You know I love that. I currently am using another one. Um, whenever I get that, it's when I can get a good discount on it. So yeah, I did really like that. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. That's a staple for me. Use it all the time, every single day, basically. And then NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. That's a staple for me too. Um, that's what I'm wearing right now in a new tube. So, all of that. Physician's Formula Eye Booster. Lash Boosting Eyeliner in Deep Brown. This is my Holy Grail eyeliner again. Use it every single day. <laughs> So and again, I like to get that on sale too, because even though it's not super pricey, it just helps. And then the MAC Prep and Prime Vibrancy Eye Primer Base. Um, this is kind of expired because I've had this way too long. I'm not sure how much is in here because you can't really tell, but I did use it quite a bit. I did like it, but it's not the kind of thing like where it's like a staple for me. I didn't notice a dramatic difference when I did use it, <laughs> so um, yeah. I probably wouldn't buy that again, but yeah, I got it at my cosmetics company outlet. Again, another NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. That one is another staple for me. I did get a replacement, and those two are the ones I always have in my purse. And then, um, I don't have a lot of little stuff this time. Um, Bare Minerals Purely Nourishing Moisturizer. So the mini size that came in a set that I got a long time ago. This was too heavy for me, really, on my face, actually. So I just used it up as using it um, as my neck moisturizer. So I mean, I guess it's a good moisturizer, but you know, I didn't really like it for my face. Um, and then the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. I just finished this, which makes me sad, but I had it for quite a while. Oh, it says only six months. You're supposed to use it. Whoops. But I'm pretty sure it lasted me longer than that. Because uh, you just need a tiny bit. Um, so yeah. I would get that if I could get a good deal on it. But yeah, I don't have the money right now. So I do need another daytime eye cream. And then the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture for Combination Skin. This was my just kind of extra moisturizer um, I would use on my face if I really needed it or use it as my neck moisturizer. But um, when I ran out of this, I got the Olay, well, the Walmart, the Equate version of the Olay moisturizer because it does not have parabens and this one does, which I didn't like. And then my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. Again, that is a staple. I've been wearing this all the time. This one I'm wearing right now. Um, this tube right here lasted me like two 
years, I think. <laughs> I mean, back then I wasn't using it as often as I am now, but I absolutely love this stuff. Yeah, I've talked about that a lot. Um, L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Intensa Mascara. Um, and waterproof. I did really like that. I think I mentioned it in favorites before. Um, the Jouer Anti Blemish Matte Primer Sample. I did really like that again, but again, it's expensive and I'm broke, so yeah, no. Um, and then the Jouer Anti Blemish. Wait, that's the same thing. Yeah. Anyway, I bought those in Oh well. But I did like that. I was almost done and the camera cut off. So I'm gonna go back to this because I'm not sure where it cut off. But um, the last thing was the Boots Botanics Mattifying Day Cream um, with SPF 15. I didn't even use this all up. It's only half gone, but it was not my favorite and I don't, it's expired now, expired in May. <laughs> so I'm just gonna toss it. But um, this, I didn't feel it was quite mattifying enough, but they do have a mattifying like gel cream type thing I've been thinking about trying, and they're only like 10 bucks. So I'm just not a huge fan of the pot because I don't like sticking my fingers in there and everything. Even though I use it first thing in the morning when my hands are clean and just got out of the shower, but you know, I don't know. But yeah. And then the very last thing is the Scentsy Luna Scentsy Bar. Um, I just want to mention this because obviously I use it up and um, I do like to mention kind of like candle tape things now and then. Um, but Luna is one of those scents that I like to always have on hand. It just works it's like any time of year. It's just kind of a basic kind of refreshing scent. It just smells fresh. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a combination of like fresh air and I don't know. Maybe if you can go on the Scentsy website and read whatever it says about it. But again, that's the Luna Scentsy Bar. So yeah. Anyways. That is everything, I think, so I can finally toss all these things and get rid of them, except for my MAC concealer, because I'm going back to MAC that, but yeah, I have like have not gotten to back to MAC stuff in like two years, so I think I have enough for like two or three free lipsticks, <laughs> so, but there isn't a MAC counter at our mall, so it <clears throat> there isn't a MAC counter at our mall, so I'd have to go to a different one. But anyway, yeah. Whew, I am starving, so I need to go eat something. Um, yeah. Anyways, that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe. I would love to have you. And thank you to um, some of my new subscribers that came over from um, Wanna Makeup um, or April. So, yeah. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and all that. Links are below. And, yeah. So, I will see you in another video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.